Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, we had a little bit of a change of plans. I was actually, we were going to be headed to Orange Lake. If you're from the North Central Florida area, you know all about that. Uh, unfortunately, one of the gentlemen that uh, beat us out there uh, informed us there was about a 35 boat tournament. So we decided to uh, pump the brakes and we headed out to the Okawaha River. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. I am flying solo today, so if the footage sucks, you can yell at me about it, but I'm gonna pan the camera and show you guys what we're working with here. Just beautiful old Florida right here, guys. I mean, I couldn't get a prettier morning. I got my brother and fishing uh, his son, my nephew fishing with Talon in front of us, so make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera and uh, I'll be back with you guys shortly. See you guys. Just wanted to share how beautiful this is, guys. We're on the Silver River side. Uh, trying to get out to the dark water when it meets actual Akawaha, but just, I mean, just right out of a postcard, guys. World famous Silver Springs, Silver River. I always say it, this is why we Florida people. I just absolutely love it here. This is why you guys need to practice boat safety when you're out in places like this, especially if you've never been here before. We've run this river a hundred times and look at what's down right now a tree all the way down and you got another tree just like this so i'm fixing to thread the needle through here on that and uh hope for the best so i'm gonna sit down and we're threading through right now guys look at this just scraping my freaking boat all up and make sure i miss everything there on that hello tree hello everything hello all we made it thread the needle but look at that right there guys you got another section down right there so just pay attention to what you guys are doing out here because that could get hairy real quick i got my brother up there in front of me his boat drafts a little shallower he's in a really nice polar skiff so but i got him ahead of us just kind of guiding for me making sure i'm not fixing to rip the bottom of my boat up that's why we're idling right now guys it ain't a race out here i'd rather show up back home with one, a boat in one piece so we'll catch back up you guys we'll be fishing shortly all right peace guys all right guys we're actually finally out here on the water so just uh throwing some top water here trying to get the early morning bite uh, if you guys can see it just got a little dogma from six cents on there just a little walking bait it's got a little popping mouth on it so i'm just gonna cast it around and kind of see what we got going on So my brother and fishing with Talon are up in front of us right now and he just caught his PB six pounds, seven ounces. What well, didn't even have his camera strapped on yet, man. <laughs> so I'm super proud of him. So he's showing me up today. He's already got two fish down there, so. It's showing guys, there he is. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on out of there. The dogma got it done, baby. The dogma got it done. It's a daggum mudfish too, ain't it? Is it a mudfish? Yeah, freaking mudfish. Ah, oh, doggone it. Ah, oh, shut up, dummy. Get my pliers out here and freaking take care of business with him. Oh, daggum mudfish. I'll leave it up to me to catch a mud. He's a good mudfish too. He's a daggum good mudfish, man. See him there, guys? There he goes. About a four pound mudfish, probably, if I had to guess. He might have been a little bit bigger than that. On the dogma. Well, that was fun. At least I got the skunk out of the boat. It wasn't with what I wanted. I wish y'all could have seen that blow up. I freaking tried to turn my camera on. I could not get my camera on. No matter how hard I tried, he stalked me the whole way through. I'm gonna tuck back in like a little cove back here. I just dropped the power poles down and just started going with it. And uh, 
Yep. Oh no. Oh, come on. It's like every single good cast I got, I end up getting treble hook tied up on the line or cast it. There he is again. Oh, you see that guys? Oh man, they're stacked in here. They are stacked up in here, guys. Stacked. We're gonna get on them again. You watch, watch. Oh, come on, big baby. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. There he is. There he is. That's him. Just like that, boys. That's how you put in work back here, son. Another mud or is that a bass? Another mudfish back here. Dad, gum mudfish everywhere in this place. Look at that one. Boom. Told you. Told you he'd come back. Another daggum mudfish. He's all sorts of tangled up too, man. All sorts of tangled up. You know what? I'm gonna have to net him and get him up here. There he is. Yeah, another mud. Hang him over the side of the daggum boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tear my net all up, why don't you? There he goes. Peace out, dude. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera and fix my uh, mess of a net here. So I'll catch back up with you guys shortly. Yeah, see that? Come up and hit it one more time. God. There he is again. He just come up and hit it again. I ran out of real estate there. I'm tangled in the lily pads. And all right, I got to get back out there. I'm I'm going to capitalize on this daggum fish for y'all. I have stalked this sucker across this whole cove. I'm drenched in sweat right now. I just want to get on plane for a second and cool down. Come on, man. There he was right there again. There he is. Oh, dude. Unbelievable, man. How many times is the same fish going to take this? I should say, how many times have I gonna miss this fish? That was what, five? If you guys have been counting, that's a lot. That just shows you how aggressive these fish can get sometimes. Ain't gonna come. He's camera shy. That's what it is. Camera shy. That's what we're gonna go with. One more case. Shout out Shaw Grigsby. And then we are done. I, it's way too hot for me to be sitting. Oh, there he was. There he is. There he is, guys. Oh. oh, man. Oh, man. I have got a problem today. I have got a problem on my hands today, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> yeah. Rods and reels working great, boats working great, everything's working great. I am working terribly, apparently, so. It's probably a bad sign that we're the only two boats on the river. We're also the only two idiots brave enough to get around that little treed area that I got on camera earlier. And I get a really good cast and tangled in something. I am done. Tangled up on it, so I am just, I'm telling you guys, and I need to go back to fishing school or something because I am just falling apart. Sad, sad day. There it is. He's still sitting there too. I can see him busting the water in there. Definitely thinking about hitting Lake Weir this afternoon and going and doing some graffing. See if I can't find some of my old spots. 
that lake's changed a lot. A lot of brush piles got drug and a lot of new stuff added and whatnot. So I'm just trying to relearn that lake. Got a video dropping shortly on that. I don't know when I'm going to release it. So this might be uh, late. Nope. All right. I think he's finally done with my nonsense. After that, I'm kind of done with my nonsense too. All right. Worm fish for a second. All right, I'm gonna cut this off, guys, before I'm draining so much battery out. I've only got one more battery got left. Him, guys. Maybe. Yeah, I got it. There he is, a little fella. Finally on the board with a bass. Sorry on that fumble on the hook set. I just about knocked my camera into the river, so. Cool. He is a decent little fish. Not bad. Look how dark these fish are in this river. Pretty crazy. All right. We're going to let him go, guys. guys we're headed back to the ramp right now so uh <clears throat> caught one little bass off camera i caught that tiny one on and then the two mudfish so not the greatest of days out here but i'm not going to complain you know i'm out on the water you know just just doing it you know you get your good days you got your bad days my days are coming so that's why i ain't mad i got to watch my nephew catch his uh new pb six pounds seven ounce uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'll edit a picture in uh, uh, of him with the fish, just and, and he caught it on top water too. i like, how awesome is that to get your PB, six and a half pound bass on top water? I mean, that's amazing, absolutely amazing. I just wish he would have got that on camera as well. I, I would have had it, but they, they're in their boat, you know, ahead of me, so I didn't get it, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we're going to go out and do a little bit more night content here shortly. I'll probably be out on the water tomorrow, haven't decided where I'm going, so you guys stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, uh, turn on your notifications so you know as soon as we drop new videos. Uh, check us out, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll catch back up with you soon.